you would never hear me say, but I really do not want pizza right now. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Life is about facing challenges and deciding whether or not you wanna be the conqueror or the conquered. While places like the bedroom call for both when it comes to food, I always come out on top. So I feel like I've mastered that domain. So I wanna expand my horizons and dominate a new frontier, that being this entire plaza. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to every single spot in this plaza and make a minimum $10 spend all within a four hour time limit. And I can't leave until I'm done. So to help me with this challenge, I have three lifelines, which is a bio, ask the audience at a double or nothing, which we'll talk about when the time comes. Okay, so we're making our way to the other end of the plaza and then we're gonna make our way in order to the other end of the plaza, AKA the finish line. So our first stop is gonna be Sunset Grill, which is a breakfast spot, which is kind of weird. That makes as much sense as calling the McDonald's Play Place a fitness center, but it is what it is. We are gonna start the timer right now. We got four hours, so let's do it. So I'm looking at the menu and I forgot food takes time to prepare. So this makes this four hour time limit, you know, just a little bit more fierce. Thank you very much. Thank you. So for the first stop, we got a plain waffle. Now usually when I'm confronted with a plain waffle, nine times out of 10, I'll add whipped cream unless I'm feeling extra brave. So we got some whipped cream, then of course on the side as well. Ever since last night, I've been in a little bit of a fruity mood. So we got some strawberries too. And you know, life happens, coffee helps. Got a black coffee on the side. This is well over $10. So we gotta get this polished off and move on. Whipped cream can remind you why it's good to be alive. Don't skip on the whipped cream. Mm. So that waffle lasted all of a minute and 20 seconds. The fastest I've ever finished off a waffle. So I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling probably way too confident than I should. Just gonna probably sit for a bit, sip on the coffee. I wanna know, are you guys pancakes, waffles, or French toast fans? I'm waffles all the way. Comment down below. So I spent $21.39 at Sunset Grill, so I over doubled the limit. Now we're at Island Foods, and I just spent $17.80. So I feel like this might come to haunt me a couple doors down, but we'll see. We'll see. Time to make my butt tingle and my tongue sweat at 11 a.m. because we got ourselves some Island food here. So I got a large a jerk chicken meal. I swear spicy food is like having your whole body sit down for a game of poker because you really never know what's gonna happen. And if you're afraid of social distancing at the gym, have this as your pre-workout meal because after this, we are headed to Orange Theory to push my physical limits before truly testing my digestional fortitude. And I am super excited for this. It's a lot of good quality white meat chicken breast in here. Like, look at this. It did not hold back. That is absolutely insane. This meat has been jerked to absolute perfection. Super spicy though. As a kid growing up, I've always been a fan of spicy food, but as I've gotten older and settled down, I've become much more of a mild man. Ooh. I swear all these like Caribbean, Indian style food, they use so much spices and flavor, like they must like, they like season the day. It's just so intense. You gotta be like be in the mood to eat stuff like this. Like, I would not recommend this at 11 a.m. before a workout. You gotta do what you gotta do. We get some. Hi, man. I better not get stung. Oh shit! So we had to resituate ourselves because we were getting gang banged by hornets. Um, they got Kofi. Unfortunately, they bit you, right? Yeah, a little bit. I mean. The guy in front of the camera is okay, that's all that matters, right? So, I kinda almost liked it. done. And here we go. All done. Feeling kinda gross right now. Time to go to stop number three and work out. Already feeling it. Jerk 
chicken is flirting with my throat right now. It's like, should I come up or should I stay down? It's not comfortable. Time to do some rowing. Okay, so just finished a 20 minute hit workout of the treadmill, rower, and then some TRX and some weights. A lot harder than it should have been, let me tell you that, with the, with the jerk chicken. But luckily our post-workout meal is literally next door so we can capitalize on the anabolic window. So let's go get some food. Stop number three, we're at Osmo's. I can never say no to some spinning meat. So this could very well be the TSN turning point because this is a pretty heavy meal. So we got a chicken shawarma wrap with a Coke Zero. So they asked me how much garlic sauce I wanted on it and I said, you know, what would Johnny Sins do? So they absolutely covered it. A look at the girth of this thing is absolutely insane. Got pretty much everything on it. You know what? Like my community service shifts at the champagne room, trauma is only something I ever partake in when I'm drunk. So it's actually quite nice to taste it. Being sober, that chicken is tasty. The one thing I have to critique though, is that on this side, you're pretty much in veggie land. This side's like meat land. It's not very like dispersed. There is so much going on in this wrap. I hate olives. And it's loaded with olives and I didn't even know. That was wild. <sighs> done and dusted, current time right now. So we've done three restaurants and a 30 minute hit workout. And we are an hour and 17 in. Feeling pretty good. Okay, moving on, feeling pretty gross. So luckily the next thing is not food and we're gonna use one of our lifelines here which is gonna be the buyout where I have to go in and buy a $10 gift card to give to somebody else because this place is like a nail salon and I don't wanna get my nails painted again like in the yes day. It took me long enough to get it off. So we're gonna head in and then get the gift card and that's pretty much, we're done the first block. Let me move on to the next building. Let's keep on going. You have a token, yeah, you just spent $10 here. How much is the facial cleanser? I got you. Thank you very much. Okay, so it turns out the Beauty Lounge does not do gift cards, so I still do have three lifelines, but I did have to buy a $60 men's facial cream, but it is what it is. So now it's time to move on to the next kind of slate of restaurants. And the next one is Bento, where I'm gonna use my double or nothing lifeline. So what I gotta do is I gotta flip a coin, and if it lands on the one I say, I don't have to eat there, but if it doesn't land on the one I say, I gotta get double of what I would have got. So the reason why I'm doing it here is because it's sushi, it's very you know marginal, not very heavy, so if I get double of it, it's not too bad. I don't wanna get two pizzas or two burgers or two like Chipotle bowls or something, so I feel like this is like the smart move, so. And I'm feeling lucky, lucky right now, so. Heads.
course I got tails. Of course I got tails. Of course I got tails. So I was hoping to save some calories, but once again, I'm getting multiple explosions in my mouth because I got two dynamite rolls and two seaweed salads, $26. This is gonna cost me a lot of money today. It already has cost me a lot of money today. And very weirdly, they gave me lime on the side of this roll, not soy sauce or ginger or anything of that nature. So this is super odd. Kind of like a Mexico meets Japan situation. Mm. This was a good decision to do the double or nothing on it because super light after the island food and the Osmos. This just feels like this is gonna rejuvenate me for the next couple of restaurants. Very weird sushi. On a scale of like one to grocery store sushi, I'm like in the deli section right now. I don't even know what the heck I'm eating. This is so fire. Oh my God. Okay, now it's time to have some weed of the sea, AKA seaweed. Love this stuff. Has like a nice like sesame dressing. And also a very healthy option too, if you're looking go to a sushi restaurant, keep the calories down, only 110 calories per. If I can get this open. Oh, this seems so gross right now. It's so saucy. Okay, well that's gonna wrap up bento. That coin did me so dirty. I'm feeling pretty gross right now, so I'm gonna sit for a bit, reflect on my life, and then uh, we're gonna go next door. Okay, so we are a little over the halfway point now. Next stop is Roosters. So, you know, I just got a haircut. Katie would kill me if I got frosted tips again, and they're not doing facials because of COVID, so luckily I didn't cancel my plans tonight. So, um, and they don't do gift cards as well. So none of these places do gift cards, so it looks like I can't use that today. So I'm actually just gonna go in and buy, another, and buy some more product. We're gonna get some sensitive skin aloe moisturizer. Okay, dual fisting some men's beauty products. Now it's time for some pizza. Something you would never hear me say, but I really do not want pizza right now. So when it comes to pizza, you wanna think of the three Ps, personal, protein, and pineapple. So even though it's a personal pizza with the pineapple, you gotta think of others, although this is a Chipotle pineapple, so I wonder if Katie's gonna be able to taste the difference. So we also got some zucchini on it, a little bit of grilled chicken, and I've never been to this place before, but they have like very interesting crust. It's like a rosemary herb, kind of multi-grain type of thing. Okay. That is a sweet, sweet sauce. Almost like ketchup-y. That is some like advanced crust technology. This is hidden at all cylinders. Pizza never does me wrong though. You cannot beat that bubbly action. Oh my God. We have been in the plaza long enough now that some people who work at this locations have noticed I've been here long enough. So now they're all kind of looking out the window and wondering what the heck am I doing? Like if people will come out to me, it's like, you know, another day in the office. Okay, so literally no place does gift cards. We just went to Chipotle, and you guys have all seen me Chipotle so many times on the channel, I was like, I just should just buy a gift card and be done with it and move on, but they don't do that. So I'm just gonna buy the next person lunch that I see. Excuse me. Do one of you guys want a free lunch? Free lunch? Free lunch, I'll buy you one of you guys lunch. Yeah. See, I'm right here. Yeah? <laughs> I'll buy you anything you want. Okay. Yeah? Sure. Okay, done. Here <laughs> we go. Okay, cool. Okay. Whatever you want. Okay. Uh, can I please get a shake? You're doing a double meat on pan? Ah, sure. Okay, I just do that. Double beat, man. Do it up. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Or is it the right one? Thank you. Take care. You too. Okay, so Chipotle is done. We just got three more restaurants to go, or two. 
Okay, so we are towards the finish line. We have three places left that we're gonna cut down to two. So I'm no magician. The best trick I know is how to make 30 seconds disappear. But what I always do value is some audience participation. So I actually asked you guys on my Instagram as one of my lifelines to ask the audience which one I should eliminate between Big Smokes Burger and Mary Brown's. And I was actually quite blown away by the results because I thought that Big Smokes Burger was only a Canadian thing, but I, I don't think it is because it actually won by like over 5,000 votes. We're keeping that in, we're eliminating Mary Brown, so all we have left is Big Smokes Burger and Fresh. We are around three hours into this challenge right now, and usually chicken sandwiches at burger joints are like opinions. Everyone has them too often. They are poorly formed and not worth a dime. But this place looks very promising and I'm excited to try it because they literally cooked a fresh chicken breast on the grill for me right now. Because if I had ground beef at this point of this challenge, I would for sure projectile vomit. So very, very light and uh, promising. Although the bun does not look like it has been licked with that beautiful shine that I do desire. Oh my God. I'm starting to use drinks as like a savior right now because it's like two bucks per place. Although this sandwich was like over $10. It was 10, 10 for one of these. One more to go, baby. full and this is going down to the wire we have just over half an hour to take down a fiesta salad because you know i love a party in my mouth so in this salad we got uh, some added tofu for 2.99 to bring this above the 10 dollars limit and we got some beans to kind of streamline things when i get home tonight on the toilet because i feel like i'm going to be there for quite a while when i get home so let's get after this the salad is exactly what i need right now after all those heavy meals although i do love the taste of tofu I do long for a meteor mouthfeel. I'm a bit frustrated that there is no croutons in here though, to be honest. I love a good avocado. Brings a creaminess to the yard. We did it. Salad smelt so good, but it tasted like a problem. But we did conquer the entire plaza in a little over three and a half hours, three hours, 31 minutes, and 55 seconds. So if you guys have a plaza back at home and you guys want to try it out, I encourage you to go and try to eat everything there. Especially, I'm going to challenge somebody on YouTube, Mr. Eric the Electric. Find a plaza nearby, and I want to see you take down the whole entire plaza. And I also want to just acknowledge the fact that this is my 199th video. And I just want to thank you guys all for watching me. I can't do stupid videos like this if it wasn't for you guys, you know, consistently watching and supporting me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I am going to wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.